Um, Cloud Duck wants to know, do you think the Goggle 2 Integra will support the Avada 2 and the O4? Um, Cloud Duck, I am as confident as I can be that the Goggle 3 will support the O3. I think that that's pretty much a done deal. It's just a question of when. When you talk about the Goggle 2 getting forwards compatibility, I think that the question is uh, uh, more complicated. And here's why. My first answer is, yeah. Like, it seems really stupid if the Goggles 2 and Integra, which are like two years old, are just, that's it, you're done. You can't bind to the O4 air unit. You can't bind to the Avada. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Goggles 2 and the Integra can bind to the Mini 4 Pro, which has the O4 air unit in it. There are two drones that are out today. One is the Mini 4 Pro, and I don't remember the other one, that have the O4 in them already, and the Goggles 2 and the Integra can be used with them. So, in a way, the Goggles 2 and the Integra already have O4 compatibility, just not the Avada 2. So, from that perspective, it seems really obvious that the Goggles 2 and the Integra will get O4 and Avada 2 support, but... I feel like the Sicilian from Princess Bride. But you would know that you would want the G2 to support the O4, so clearly I cannot take the Goggles that are in front of me! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go back. That felt like a really good impression, but I have headphones on. I'll have to go back and watch that. Here's the thing, though. If the Goggles 2 gets O4 support, then the Goggles 2 will support the O4, the O3, and the older Vista generation. Or will it? Because I don't think... And I could be wrong about this, but if I were a betting man, I would bet against the Goggles 3 getting Vista support. Now, if DJI does that, like, I'm not saying it's like a 0%. There's like a 35% a chance. That's the odds I would give if I were betting that DJI gives the G3 Vista support. I think that DJI is ready to be done with the Vista generation. They gave the G2 Vista support. Oh my God, thank you, DJI. We didn't expect you to do that, thank you. But now I think they're ready to move on. Vista's kind of on the way out. Yes, it's still being produced. Yes, people are still flying up. The O3 is pretty strong. I feel like if I were DJI, I'd be like, okay, let's get the Vistas, let's get them out the door. And I would not give the G4, the G3 Vista support. So then if the G2 gets O4 support, and it also supports the Vista, and it also supports the O3, does that make the G2 the better goggle for a lot of people? Ooh, I don't like that if I'm DJI. I want people to want to buy the G3. So then, if I'm DJI, then do I lock out the Vistas? If you update the G2 to support the O4, does it lock out the Vista? Just like when you updated the V2 goggles to support the O3, it locked out the V1 controller? I don't know. And that's, that's where my head is at. What I would like to see is that the G3 gets support for all three generations of their unit. Vista, O3, O4. And then the G2 and the Integra get the same damn thing, and everybody's happy. But I have never seen DJI do the one thing that would make everybody happy. What DJI does is either they don't do the thing at all, and it's like, Meh. And then they release a new product two years from now that costs a thousand dollars and does the thing that you wanted it to do, or they do the thing that you wanted them to do, but they like giveth with one hand and take away with the other. And so my uh, my actual guess is that they that they uh, make the G two and the Integra support the O four, but you lose support for the Vista if you upgrade, and you have to decide. <laughs> But it's not a strong guess. I think there's a fair chance that they just give all three goggles support for all three systems. Anyway, thank you for asking the question. It's my, I got like a string on a blackboard. <laughs> 